Welcome to our retirement, folks. Morning, folks. Morning. <laughs> you brought the sugar. First. <laughs> How are you all, everybody? Yeah. I wonder why. We always ask that, don't we? Yeah. Oh, it's funny though. Do we care? Oh, probably not, say. <laughs> oh, you're well, a bad boy. I, I ask myself that question. Do I Do care? I, care? Right. I mean, it's the, these words that just come out of your mouth so glibly. Um, And then we all say, fine, but are we fine? We'd say fine if we won. Uh, well, I notice you've just got a, a little t-shirt on today. You haven't got a I have, yeah. thing with collars mm. and coming out of mm. you. We're still fighting this rash. Mm, very nice. It isn't very nice. I'm always fighting summer uh. these days. <laughs> Mind you, Stephen Lawner have been ill with, with a virus or something. Because they have been at full throw edge backwards. Uh, sorry, Stephen Lawner have fighting a virus. They have had a virus. Oh dear. I'm not alright now, I think. Well, oh, good. Said he was, but then again, like I said, <laughs> we <laughs> say we're fine when we're not. So who knows? Yeah. So we had Pamela around yesterday for our lunch. Yeah. Um, just sat down here chatting. Yeah. We stayed down till just after lunch, didn't you? And then you went upstairs. For a bit. For a bit, I, mm. oh, I, uh, I find um, just sitting around so, talking, socialising. I just find it so tiring. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about. Bits of all sorts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No. No. She told a couple of jokes, but I can't remember them. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Oh, yeah. One with them, quite funny. Once we were an empire and we had an emperor. Once we, were a, we had a kingdom and we had a king. And now we're a country, so we have a... <laughs> 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 that was one she said. Yeah. <laughs> She shows us photographs of her little dog Tico. Mm. It's oh, she did you. I said, what, is it, what is it? What kind of dog is it? He's Co black, a cockapoo, I think he is. Mm. She says he's ever so funny. Every night he takes all the cushions off at settee. There are a couple of them, and then he hides behind them. Uh -huh. And. Pamela pretends that she's looking for him and uh, she says that. I go, oh, oh, where's my Tico? Oh, oh, I've lost him. And she pretends to cry. Yeah. And he pops his head up and <laughs> comes running over to her. <laughs> <laughs> and licks her all over. <laughs> I thought, say, oh, I'm here. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> it's, just, it's just a ritual he has on an evening <laughs> oh. before he goes to bed. Oh, my. I know. Well, he's a funny dog, I think. <laughs> he lays in front of the door so she can't go out. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like her going out. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Oh. But she, she very, I mean, he's very rarely left on his own because if she's not there, her son Andrew is. 
And they text him out for walks, don't they? Long walks. And three days a week, I think he goes over to Andrew's house and stays with Andrew. Mm. So there's a soft yeah. sharing. Yeah. 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 She says, Andrew's the Andy one. Yeah. Because he does jobs for her. He trims her edge and paints the fence. And he put the fence up for her, didn't he? He says he's quite handy. Her other son, he, he works... I don't know actually who he works for now. No, I don't. It's been taken over that many times. Yeah. But it's to do with... Um, Is it fibre optics? There's fibre yeah. optic stuff and that. Yeah. yeah. But he says that there's not... They're, they're really quiet at the moment. Oh, not much work. But they've just got a contract with somebody and he says there should be some work coming in. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, books. I mean, Pat reads Lee Child's books. Mm. You know, crime books. Yeah, I don't read that much. I read more when we're away than what I do here. I'm very, very selective about what I read. Mm. My all-time favourite book is A Kind of Loving mm. um, by Stan Barstow. Great author. In my opinion, stand by stuff. Um, and it, I read that that book, and I mean they did make a film of it. I know, but before the film, I believe, because um, when did I read it? Must have been sixty six, sixty seven, something like that. When I read it, mm. don't know when the film was made, but. Um, when I read that book, it was almost as though it 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 it, it, it were written about me. Because the relationships that he had with friends and Ingrid, his Family. his um, uh, his, his, uh, his girlfriend, um, were just uh, and also. His family, yeah, his sister, mm. and and his parents, um, aunties, it just they were just like mine. I mean, I ain't got a sister, but I know, I I know people who, who have got sisters, and the relationship that that they have with one another, and and like my auntie Ethel and my mum and dad. And then the relationship that he had with Ingrid's mother. Oh, they didn't get on, did they? No. It were all as though it were written about <clears throat> me. It were incredible, <clears throat> really. Just so identified with that book. <clears throat> what an amazing story. Um, just couldn't put it down. Um, and then the other book that has always had a... Had a um, influence and impact on me was Zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance. Completely but different. Robert Percy. Type of books. Absolutely. It was absolutely different kind of book. Um, but it, I just, he, he, that book sent me off on, uh, I actually read Plato and Aristotle after reading that. Um, and philosophy, because um, he, he used to, and there were so many things in that book that were so true, so accurate. I mean, mm -hmm. the the title of the book, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. It was about, in in many ways, about we never live in the present. We, we always live in the future. We always think... Planning for the future. What we're doing next could be in an hour. Mm -hmm. Could be today. What am I doing today? And, and it, it, it used the motorbike 
to tell the story about that and it what it was what he he was good he, he thought that right, today i'm gonna change the spark plug on the bike and then i'm gonna drive to so and so and meet up with it with him and then we're gonna go out for lunch and he had it, his day planned so he, he he goes to his bike and his the tools that he needs are inside the toolbox in the the bike so he has to undo a screw to take the tool, the case, the front of the toolbox off. But when he, the screw was stiff and when he was trying to turn it, it snapped off, did one half of it. So he couldn't turn the screw out. Mm. So immediately... His imme day gets shorter. <laughs> immediately, <laughs> it, 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 there's interference with his plan because this job which should have only taken 10 minutes it's now going to take him that long to get the into his tool case because he's going to have to drill drill this screw out um, to extract it so he has to get a drill extractor and drill it in and then extract the screw to get the case off just to get to his tools and he, he called it a gumption trap this this, this, we always, we, we give ourselves anxiety because we're always living in the future instead of living in the present. And when things are interfered, which they can so easily be, then it, it's, it drains your, it, it drains, it says you could feel his, um, and his energy draining out of him, you know, because, because things were going wrong. Just examples like mm. that I remember reading in that book. Uh, many other things I remember yeah. as well. Mm. The the girl um, who couldn't write an essay, and he, he, she says, "I don't know what to write. A, what to write about?" He says, "Where do you come from?" And she says, "Dakota." He said, well, right about Dakota. She still can't think of anything. So he says, well, right about a street in Dakota. She still can't think of anything. So he says, well, right about a building in Dakota. And she still can't think of anything. So he says, right about that brick in that building over there. And well that would have been harder to think of something that right about old of all. That gave her she had a small starting point because the whole thing was too big. When mm. you're confronted with a a massive project, mm. you don't know where to start. You have to drill down to get to, to yeah. a small piece of something. And then you get, once you get going, I suppose maybe people who write books might mm. Um, mm. agree with that, that mm. they might start off with one character yeah. in a book and expand. The old book comes from that, mm. or one incident or something. Right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we, we get overwhelmed mm. with... Well, with I said, things. I said to you when we were out that I, I started a new Lee Child book. Um, not his, I don't know whether it were the latest. I've missed one. I need to get that one. Oh. Um, and I said, this is very hard to get into. I've never known them be like this before. Because um, normally I can't put them down. But I found myself reading a little bit and then having to put it down. Because it would just... Tedious. It, it would, yeah, a bit tedious, which I've never found his book before. Now, whether it's that he's writing with his brother and the, the pace of it and the storytelling of it is getting a bit not... The style. Yeah, it's maybe. a bit different. Mm. Um, I don't know. But I've persevered with it and I've got sort of halfway through... But it still doesn't 
seem to really be going anywhere to me. Oh, you're still on with it? I'm still on with it. Oh, yeah, I've got oh. half a book to read. I haven't picked it up since we've come back. Right. Um, I tend to read it when we're out because mm. I have yeah. I don't have jobs to do and yes. there's, there's other bits. I mean, I don't have to do these jobs, but I just do them. But and... certain activities, certain mm. environments yeah. provide provide the right atmosphere yeah. to read. Yeah, when we were in caravan yeah. all, all mm. day, that day I in got camper. quite a bit done. Yeah. And it, camper, it, if it rained, it, we were, yeah. you know, mm. and if you went out, I'd, I'd sit and read mm. um, till a certain time. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I don't know whether Just anybody else reads his book, whether they Different found. routines. Yeah, we, we had a different routine yeah. when we were in the van. Yeah. And that routine were more conducive to reading. Yeah. Than, than the routine yeah. that we have here. Yeah. I mean, I could read early afternoon when I finish mm. doing things, but I, I tend to try and catch up on things that yeah, I've because, recorded. Because you've got the opportunity... To watch what I want to watch. To say things on that um, te telly thing upstairs. Yeah. Which, that, so it's that. like a projector, and it projects the TV on the wall, and it's got... Um, a record thing that's in it and um, stuff that um, is on later on I, I can record it and then watch it yeah it produces a massive screen yeah it does no, no, how big it is in, in measurement mm. I can't tell you no but it's as <coughs> as wide as that them two cupboards there where where do you think? No, where, it's all um, there. Yeah, where um, ovens are. As wide as that, yeah. <coughs> yeah, definitely. yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably as tall. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my opinion of the, la the latest book that I've read of um, Lee Child, anyway, and his yeah. brother who's <coughs> writing with him. Um. Yeah, I was, cause I was listening to um, a chap. I, I listened to this guy. He just walks around the countryside, talking about different subjects with his dog Molly. Um, and he was talking about um, interesting subjects, really. Well, I found it interesting. Um, that when you go out into the countryside, all the sounds that you hear are exactly the same sounds that people would have heard who lived on the planet thousands of years ago. You know, the wind, mm. the wind sounds the same now as it would have done thousands of years ago. Mm, bird songs. Bird song would have sounded the same mm. um, and and uh, it reminded me of when I were on when I was out in Germany and um, I used to have to do these wretched guard duties because um, we had tanks in in tank hangers and we had to patrol them all night and um, you used to have to do a, a uh, two hours on, four hours off. So you'd, you'd have two stags. We used to call them stags when you were on. Um, and you'd have a two-hour stag, have four hours off and then have another two hours. Um, and maybe your first stag, it were light when you were walking around, but the second stag would have been in the middle of the night, you know. I used to be walking around these tank hangers um, at, say, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, depending on what, whether you were on first, second or third stag. <coughs> and um, <coughs> and me. I used to look up at the stars and I used to think, just think, that who, who would have been looking 
I am looking at these stars now. And Moses might have been looking. Moses would have been able to see these stars. Or Pharaoh, when he were on the earth. All these people who were on the earth thousands of years ago. Um, and it's just like time kind of links you. Every, everybody's linked um, by time. When you look at that object, that object links links me mm -hmm. with Moses. You know what I mean? Because um, it, that hasn't changed. It's still the same. Mm -hmm. um, I thought I mean, <clears throat> we used to have a little thing, didn't we, when we were courting? Oh, yeah. And I used to say, um, what do you want at a certain time on a night? Yeah, look I'm up gonna at the plough. Look up at the plough at eight o'clock. Mm, on a night, like mm. something like that, and so I said, you know, when if you, you look, look up, if at you plow, look up, both. if you look up at the plough in England, and I look up at the plough in Germany at eight o'clock, it connects us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. uh, you know, it, interesting thought. Yeah. It, um. Yeah. Well, well, there you go. Oh, 20 minutes. Oh, really? Already. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you're going to say so far. Yeah. Go on, Pat. What were you going to say? I was just going to tell them about our Tracy last night. Oh, what about her? Well, going to. Oh. Um, she's, she's paid to go to this trainer um, to tone herself up a she's bit. She's trying to. She's trying to lose some weight. To get a sugar down. Yeah. So she do not get diabetes. They said that she'd got pre-diabetes. Yeah. She's on the verge of contracting it. If she do not do something about it. So she's been cutting certain foods out. Mm. She's not eating as much bread and potatoes and stuff like that. Um, and she organised to go to this sort of fitness thing with a personal trainer for a month and um, she went last night well I mean don't forget she's been at work since eight o'clock in the morning she did didn't get home she did get home six, a bit earlier six -ish. yesterday didn't she yeah I think she left a bit earlier um, but normally it's uh, getting yeah. on for half past six mm. now because of traffic build up um, and so she didn't have out to eat before she went, didn't she? and she she got changed and she off she went. Well, when she come in, she could. <laughs> she says she's had me with a, a five pound five hundred or oh, whatever they say kilograms or whatever it is, but a big ball, and then she's had me with a seven one and then a nine and just going Crouching. up and down. With the legs so up, top of the legs. Oh. oh, she says that they ache so much. She says, when I came out of her studio, she'd parked round the corner on another road. She says, no, I could hardly feel my legs walk to walk to can. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and she says, oh, that is so much like hard work after you've done a day's work like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's either going at that time for seven o'clock on the night or six o'clock in the morning, which she says, if I go at six, I've then to come back, get a shower, change my clothes and go to work. Well, I don't think she'd have been able to go to work, <laughs> which she walked. <laughs> she could hardly walk. Oh. And you'd have thought that they'd been a bit more <clears throat> gentle knowing it yeah, were the first but, time. Yeah. Build up gradually from yeah. just doing a little bit. Yeah, mm. crazy. Yeah. So uh, she says, I don't know when I'm going to go again. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just go swimming. Right. <laughs> Which she would get quite a bit of exercise from swimming. Yeah, she would, yeah. 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 Oh, dear. Poor lass. 
And she was shattered and starving because she hadn't helped to eat since dinner time. <laughs> and it was eight o'clock when she got in. I don't know. She, I'd, I'd run out After of it. After eight. And my sugar would be well, so oh, I'd yeah. have a faint. I'd faint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, dear. So that's that were all I was going to tell you. All right. A new, new little bit of... That's it. All right, yeah. Something going on. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, okay. I think we better say goodbye. Yeah, we better had. All right, folks. Bye. Tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, yeah. So, Cheers. you never know Saturdays. what might be going on, whether we can do a video or not. I don't know. Right. We'll have to wait and see with weekends. Yeah. All right, folks. Bye. Bye. Bye.